full name? Anna. Spell last name? N I X. He came into my room and he started touching me. He never touched her inappropriately. Welcome to Screen Recaps, and today we are going to be recapping the movie Jailbait. A young girl named Anna is practicing the cello in her room. Her stepfather enters the room and tries to forcefully mate with Anna. She tries to resist him and pushes him away, but then her stepfather hits a sharp object that cuts his neck. After some struggle, he dies due to blood loss. For the murder of her stepfather, Anna is arrested and taken to the court. She explains to the judge that her stepfather was trying to force her and pushed him away in self-defense. But her mother speaks against Anna and tells the judge that her husband was a good man. So the judge sentences Anna to a juvenile correction facility. Frank, the warden of the prison, introduces himself to the newcomers. After a short briefing, Anna is taken to her cell where she meets Jeannie. Jeannie doesn't like to talk much and stays by herself, but she feels an attraction to Anna and warms up her mating machine by watching her when she is sleeping. The next day, all the prisoners are taken outside to get some fresh air. One of the prisoners named Cody warned her about all the trouble she could face there if she stays by herself. So she offers Anna to join her group. There are two girl factions inside the prison, the black faction led by Killa and the white faction led by Cody. But Anna wants to be left alone and rejects her offer. Later, Cody again approaches Anna to persuade her to join their faction in exchange for friendship and protection. But this time, she brings her whole crew to intimidate Anna. Nevertheless, Anna still declines and walks away. Feeling insulted, Cody and her crew take Anna to a room where they assault her. As Anna is injured, she is taken to a doctor for treatment. The doctor recommends Anna to meet Frank, who can help her fulfill her wish to be left alone. So Anna reluctantly goes to meet Frank and tells him about her desire for solitude. But Frank wants something in return for her safety. Anna isn't interested in his offer either and returns to her cell. Anna is frustrated by the fact that everyone in the prison is attracted to her. Jeannie tries to comfort her and compliments Anna on her beauty. Anna cannot resist Jeannie's advances and ends up forming a close bond with her. The next day, when Anna and Jeannie are walking outside, Killa blocks Anna and believes her. Anna gets furious by this and decides to join Cody's gang for protection. However, Cody wants Anna to prove herself whether she is good for the gang or not. So she asked Anna to beat Killa. Anna agrees and goes straight to Killa and start assaulting her. Cody is recording the whole fight with her hidden camera. Afterwards, Frank sends Anna to solitary, naked for 48 hours as punishment. Frank threatens Anna that if she doesn't satisfy his needs, he will send her to solitary for a whole month. Left with no choice, Anna gives up to Frank's demands and mates with him. As Anna has completed Cody's task, she becomes a member of Cody's gang. As a welcoming party, Cody gives Anna some drugs. Even Cody cannot resist Anna's beauty and ends up mating with her. The next day, Anna's mother comes to visit Anna. She still blames Anna for the death of Anna's stepfather and is not willing to accept that he ever forced Anna. As Anna hangs out with her new gang, Killa attacks her, but this time, Anna has backup and she goes all out against Killa. Frank calls for Anna and blackmails her with the footage of the fight that can affect her jail sentence. Unless, of course, she does exactly what he asks. Anna accepts his demands despite feeling disgusted by him. After giving Anna some drugs, Frank mates with her. Anna is frustrated by everything and angrily slaps Jeannie. During the checkup, one of the guards notices the cut on the lips of Jeannie. So he takes Anna to Frank to get punished for assaulting a fellow prisoner. But this time, he doesn't mate with her as Anna says he forcefully mates with her against her will every day. Frank gets upset by this and threatens Anna to send her to a prison for adults where she would experience what it feels like to get forced by someone. Frustrated, Anna rushes to Cody's cell and demands more drugs, but Cody expresses her affection for Anna and tells her that she is worried about her. But Anna gets furious by this sudden affection and decides to leave Cody's gang. While walking outside, Anna sees some girls taking drugs. Anna joins them and injects some drugs into her blood. Cody sees this and feels bad for Anna, so she confronts Anna and asks her to stop. But Anna wants to be left alone again, so Cody officially kicks her out of her group. Now that Anna is on her own, Killa, along with her gang, assault her. Anna is losing her mind and injects herself with more drugs. She starts doing drugs daily, which is affecting her health. While being high in drugs, Anna attacks Killa alone and beats her. Afterwards, Frank again sends her to the solitary. 
Anna is now completely addicted to drugs and heads to get more drugs soon after she is released. But Cody, who still cares for Anna, tries to stop her. Frustrated, Anna threatens to kill herself and says that all she wants is to be left alone. But the guard stops her in time, and she is taken back to the solitary. Without the drugs for days, Anna starts losing her mind, so one day she uses a broken piece of the tray to cut her wrists and commit suicide. But the guard sees her in time and quickly sends her for treatment. After getting treated, Anna sees more patients like her who have lost their minds because of the drugs. One of the patients even loses her life because of her drug addiction. Anna recognizes her mistake and resolves to quit using drugs. She also expresses a desire to see her mother. Anna's mother, remorseful for her daughter's unjust imprisonment, promises to work towards her release. After Anna makes a full recovery, she approaches Frank with a proposition. She'll comply with his desires under one condition, that he keeps everyone away from her and allows her solitude. Frank, driven solely by his desires, agrees to this condition. Frank insists that Anna participate in a talent show and even returns her cello, encouraging her to practice. When Cody learns of this, she physically harms Anna and instructs her gang to assault her once more. Feeling betrayed by Frank for failing to honor his promise, Anna decides to confide in the doctor. However, Frank, monitoring the situation through cameras, orders a fellow inmate to silence the doctor. During the talent show, Anna astounds the audience with her cello performance. Afterward, Frank informs Anna that he has arranged a parole hearing for her. In return, Frank demands intimate relations with Anna throughout the night. Later, when Anna shares news of the parole hearing with Jeannie, Jeannie cautions her not to get too hopeful, suspecting Frank's manipulation. Anna decides to secretly record Frank's actions to expose him during the hearing. She requests Cody's camera to capture evidence of Frank forcibly engaging with her. Subsequently, Anna meets with Frank who is eager for one last encounter. Anna successfully records the incident. During the parole hearing, Anna impresses the board with her responses and stands on the brink of parole acceptance. However, Frank betrays her by urging the board to reject her parole, painting her as a troublemaker in the prison. Anna, however, has a backup plan and presents the incriminating video. Frank attempts to delete it but is too late, leading to his arrest by the police. Having witnessed the evidence, the parole board decides to grant Anna parole. She is finally liberated from the grim prison and bids farewell to Jeannie and Cody. After enduring many hardships, Anna finally gets an opportunity to perform the cello in front of a large audience, realizing her dream of becoming a professional cellist.